Good morning, my kidno gardeners. It's Miss Lessard. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. Okay, so it's 5-5 five, because five, May's the fifth month. Let's see, January, February, March, April, May, which is five. And today's the fifth, so it's 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> I like that. That's kind of cool. Let's check out this calendar and see what's going on with it. Are you ready? Oh, this is such a crazy calendar. See how we have the one, two, three, four, and you know today's going to be five. So we have the gold, the pink, the yellow, the pink and purple. And we're trying to figure out if it's going to start back with gold or if it's another one. Because right now it's an ABCD pattern. Let's see. Are we ready? What? It's a red rose. What's going on? So we have gold, pink, yellow, pink and purple, red rose. <gasps> So far, it's an A, B, C, D, E pattern. Whoa, this is craziness. Oh, you must really love flowers, huh? This is unbelievable. Okay, so today is Tuesday. And if you know that, because I go straight up and you see the T-U Tuesday right there. Today would have been gym class. But no worries, because you're going to get your Wednesday workout. And today, just go outside if it's beautiful and ride your bike or play in your yard. Um, have fun. Okay? And again, if you can't get outside, go noodle. Because go noodles are always fun. Let's see what the question of the day is. The question of the day is, what is your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Ooh. Okay. So it could be cereal from yesterday. For me, it's not. Um, for you, it might be, because you're a child. Um... My absolute favorite thing is called Eggs Benedict. And it's because it's your egg and it's like this really creamy sauce on it. That is so super yummy. So Eggs Benedict for me. I don't know, maybe yours is a breakfast sandwich or eggs or toast or bagel or whatever. Tell me, or I bet you like pancakes. That's a, probably going to be a popular one. Also, I'm going to be sending you a surprise for you to do for your moms for Mother's Day. So shh, okay, it's gonna be coming. If you wanna tell mom and have her help you do it, that's fine too. But if you wanna keep it a surprise, you can do it with dad or with Grammy or whoever, okay? So I need to start sending you that because this Sunday, it's one of the two days we have no school, is Mother's Day. And we gotta thank them because they're pretty incredible people. All right, let's see today's book. Green Wilma by Ted Arnold, and some of the moms might know Ted Arnold. He was very famous. He was an actor. Okay, ooh, it's a paperback. And who's, yep, yeah. and he, oh, he illustrated it too. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, I see a little fly. Hope you're enjoying learning about frogs, by the way. So cool. All right, and this is by Scholastic, and Scholastic does give me permission. Here's our title page, as long as I delete it. Dedication page for Imogene, Wilma, and Green Dog. One morning, Wil Wilma woke up green, and much to her surprise, she turned out green. She sat up in bed, and she croaked, and she started eating flies. Now you know why I chose this book. So this girl, Wilma, turned into a frog. <laughs> it's crazy. She washed and dressed. She combed her hair and she quickly made her bed. She hopped down to the breakfast table. Past the bugs, she said. Green children should not go to school, she heard her mother fuss. <laughs> They're in shock. Past the bugs. But out the window, Wilma jumped and rode off in the bus. Uh oh, she's on the bus driver's head. Yeah, that would not be allowed. That's against the rules. Not safe. In class, Green Wilma tried but simply couldn't keep her seat. In gym while playing dodgeball, Wilma could never could be beat. Oh, that rhyme. She couldn't stay in her seat. Never could be beat. It was just tricky worded around a little bit, so it took me a minute. In art, the kids thought being green was absolutely great, but teacher said the green must be from something that she ate. Could be. I know sometimes my tongue turns colors. There's my reader connection. Have you ever eaten like a lollipop or a popsicle and your tongue turns colors? Or my fingers. Like if I'm eating those orange Cheetos, and you look, my fingers turn orange. At story time, poor Wilma felt so hungry she could cry. And then she saw on teacher's nose 
a tasty little fly. Oh, what do frogs like to eat? Look at the tongue go. She chased it all around the room and up and down the hall. And through the lunchroom, that's the place that flies love best of all. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> the principal yelled, stop her. She should know we have a rule that children are not allowed to munch on flies while they're at school. Is that really a rule? No, because we don't eat flies. Then out the door, Green Wilma hopped into the hills beyond. Uh-oh. Hope she comes back. Mom and Dad are going to miss her. And finally, she caught that fly up over Miller's Pond. Oh, she was going to the pond. Because frogs like ponds. I see those nice cattails. Wilma landed in the water with a noisy splash, and she met a very hungry fish. Uh-oh, that fish is bigger than her. And woke up in a flash, and then she recalled the words they teach to every little frog. <laughs> She's afraid of the big fish and jumped out, looking at her like, ah! That's another read of connection if you've ever been afraid of something. When you dream, be careful that you don't fall off the log. <laughs> so she's dreaming. I knew it. The end. <laughs> Clap if you like it. Well, I've never dreamed that I was a frog before. <laughs> That's so cool. So fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a super fantastic day. In a little bit, I will put something on Seesaw if you'd have fun. I found a, a science one on the frog life cycle, and I saw many of you did it. How cool was that? That, that was on there. I was like, yes. I'm going to try to find some more for you that are fun, that you'll love. Have a super fantastic day, guys. Bye. Mwah.